Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. So Sean P comes in with the question, I currently have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Mm -hmm. Should I buy a 32 gigabyte kit and sell or otherwise dispose of my current 16 gig kit? Or should I just buy a second 16 gigabyte kit and add it to it to get a total of 32 gigs? This is a wonderful question. And the answer is, it depends. It depends on several things. And so I have to kind of run through several options here because the answer will change depending upon what you watching this might personally have. Now in Sean's case, Sean has an i7-9700K, which is an eight core, eight thread Intel next generation chip. Oh, and a 2070. And an RTX 2070. In his case, he can buy another 16 gig kit, drop it in next to it, he'll be fine. Because Intel is not particularly fussy with RAM. It is unlikely that he has that configuration and has such a weird expensive set of RAM to be a problem. But let me put a caveat in there. Yeah. I am assuming that he has somewhere between DDR4-3000 and DDR4-3600. Most people who compromised to get a, an i7 instead of an i9, who has a mid-level card and has 16 gigs of RAM, didn't buy DDR4-4266. They didn't buy the ridiculously expensive super fast RAM. Now, if by chance you did, yes, you need to replace it. Combining overspeed RAM at the extreme limits would be unwise. That needs to be a single kit. But 3200, 3600 on Intel, and this is true whether you have seventh gen, eighth gen, ninth gen, or 10th gen, makes no difference because they're all really the same chip. Mostly. I mean, it's the same memory controller, it's the same generation, the same cores, etc. It's why it's why Intel's been so stable on RAM for years. It's because they've been making these. They've added cores, they've added clock speed, but they haven't really changed anything. Yeah, he says it's 3200. Yeah, you just drop another 16 gig 3200. Your system's for 50 not gonna, bucks. For 50 bucks, your You're system's good to not going to care. But what if Sean P had a Ryzen 7 2700X? on a B450 motherboard. That's a different story. That's no bueno. Buy a 32 gig kit, take your 16 gig out and do something else with it. You could possibly buy another 16 gig kit on Ryzen and make it work. But it's gonna be, maybe it'll work. And inevitably, whenever I say this, you know, somebody's bound to say in the comment section, well, I did it and it worked for me. Great, your sample size of one is called an anecdote. Uh, anecdotes are not evidence. We've got 20 Ryzen systems. A lot. It's all over the place as to what works and what doesn't. Now Zen 2 on 500 series boards is more predictable, but Zen 2 on three and 400 series boards isn't. I've, I've got a Ryzen 5 3600 on a B450 Tomahawk that's fussy with RAM. Put that same 3600 on a B550, and it will be much less so because the traces and the design of the motherboard and the chipset, and it's, it comes from a different time. And so what you have is going to greatly determine whether that's a good idea. In my experience with Ryzen, mixing kits is just asking for pain and punishment. And even if it boots, and even if it works the first time, you know, I had a mixed kit on our video editor's Threadripper. Oh, yeah. And he's got a Threadripper 3 yes. on the new TRX40 he does. using quality RAM, he does. but it's two kits. Yep. It worked until it blue screened. Yep. So I bought a single set of RAM that wasn't mixed kits to make that go away. When it comes to the ongoing battle between Intel and AMD on RAM, Intel is winning partly because they have a five-year-old design that hasn't been updated, and so it's obviously very well optimized. But in your case, just drop another 16, you'll be fine. 
URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time every time. For the month of December, get a bonus of 28% off normal prices using our discount code BST and the link in the video description below. Less than $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key. It's a real product key and activates directly with Microsoft. Use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and works through reinstallation installs. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for under $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. Also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years and recommend you do as well.